guys, welcome to Cooking with Kerry. This week we're gonna be making a scrumptious Alfredo sauce-like recipe with chicken and some quinoa pasta. So, great for the kiddies because it's made with cauliflower. Dairy-free, low calorie, and it's great if you're on a budget. It's also nut-free, so really good for those kids with allergies, okay? Let's get started. So today you're gonna to need a big pot. This is for cooking your cauliflower. In there right now, I've just got some boiling water, hot water. Okay, that's three cups of boiling water. And here we've got boiling water for the quinoa pasta. I just wanted to show you what type of pasta I buy here. This is the Orgran uh, brand. This is from Australia and it's very, very gentle on the stomach and it's a quinoa pasta, so it's full of protein. Okay, so I'm gonna pop that on now. That should take, the packet says, um, da, 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 eight minutes, only eight minutes to cook. So I'm just gonna pop that on now and turn that heat up and let that do its thing. Okay, and then we're gonna get this cauliflower going. So in here, I've got around three cups of cauliflower florets, frol uh, florets. <laughs> um, three cups or one medium cauliflower head. And I've chopped most of the stalks on, off, sorry. I've left a little bit on like this, but they're ma mainly off, okay? So I'm gonna throw those in here. So this water has been going for a while. Um, as you can see here, the water just almost covers it. So I want to make sure the water actually covers the cauliflower. So I'm gonna go ahead and get some more water in there now. And in here, we've got two clo cloves of garlic, which is actually gonna go in there with the cauliflower. So I'm just gonna pop this water in there with the two garlic cloves as well. So that's now baking hot, and I'm gonna pop that lid back on, okay. I'm also gonna add some stock. Now, it's completely up to you what type of stock you do use. I like this one. It is a chicken stock. Um, no MSG in this brand, and it's fairly low on sodium as well. So it's completely up to you what stock you prefer. I'm gonna go ahead and add two teaspoons of stock to that and hopefully that is going to get boiling very soon and in the meantime I'm going to prepare the chicken so as I said this is a yummy Alfredo chicken in Alfredo inspired dish um, but the Alfredo sauce is going to be made with cauliflower <laughs> so let's see how the kiddies like it um, so first of all I'm going to get the chicken going so as you can see here I've got um, three nice sized chicken breasts. These are around 100 grams. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna cut, just wanted to show you how I get them in the pan. So I just wanted to kind of cut through the middle here. Get it nice and flat so that they cook a little bit quicker for us. Oops. Okay, so I'm going to pop some cling film over that and give them a really good bash. So, just going to get some cling film over there. And this really is for hygiene purposes more than anything. You don't want pieces of chicken flying around while you're giving this a good bash. Got any type of, you know, thing going on in your head where you've got a little bit of a, um, a need to get out some of that pent up aggression of any kind, then go ahead and think of that person. <laughs> When you're giving these a good bash. I 
I remember growing up, um, my father owned restaurants in the UK and this was something as a kid <laughs> that he would leave me to do. <laughs> so it was one of the jobs that I had in the restaurant growing up, which was actually really fun. I loved helping, helping him prepare and helping him with everything really in the restaurant. So anyways, okay, that's about done. Get rid of that straight away. Okay, so with this, I'm gonna use that same bowl. I don't know why I took that away. So I'm just gonna add some salt straight away. Okay, then I'm gonna both sides. Now we've got some onion salt as well that I'm just gonna pop in here, just a little. So that's around half a teaspoon and some chives. And my favorite, some oregano. And we're just gonna add a little bit of olive oil. So this is around two tablespoons. And give that a good mix. Okay, in the meantime, I'm gonna get this pan on. And that's a non-stick pan, I'm gonna get that on so it gets nice and hot. I'm just gonna use a teaspoon actually to start popping that over the chicken. Now this could have been done before as well, um, just to give it a nice marinade for the flavor to be, you know, infusing into the chicken for a little bit longer. But I wanted to show you the size of the chicken breast. I also wanted to show you the depth, so the thickness of these. So I'm gonna take these and start popping these on. Obviously I'm gonna go this side down. You can hear that sizzle so that you get a nice sear on those. Then I'm gonna take this guy now, obviously, because this is for the kiddies as well, I don't want to play around with the ingredients too much, but um, this was just for us. I think I'd add some chili in here as well, maybe that goes with really nicely with Alfredo or a little bit more black pepper. Some, but I'm gonna actually put salt and pepper in the Alfredo sauce as well, so I don't want to, that to out overpower for the kids. And as you can see, the white round the side of the chicken um, indicates that it's cooking really nicely. So you wanna get that even. Um, so I've noticed the heat is distributed more towards this one, so I've just moved that around so that this chicken breast starts cooking at the same speed as that one. Okay, so just have a quick look at them, keep an eye on them, just make sure everything's even and gonna be cooked down nicely. Okay, and that should take around um, around 10 to 15 minutes. We're gonna see, we're gonna go five minutes each side. I'm gonna turn that heat down a little bit and then we're just gonna monitor, okay? I'm just gonna flip those over. Beautiful color on those. It's gonna be really yummy going to drain that pasta now. Make sure that's done. <laughs> mm. A little bit al dente. I'm going to leave it on. 
for another few minutes. For the kiddies, it just needs to be a little bit softer. Quinoa pasta actually takes a little bit longer, I think, to cook than normal pasta. So just bear that in mind as well. In the meantime, I'm gonna show you just a really quick salad. Um, I don't think the kiddies are gonna like this one. <laughs> but I'm sure the adults will. So, my favorite, kale. So a lot of people complain that kale is not very comfortable, let's say, in the mouth, or, you know, it's just a bit grass-like, I guess, or, you know. So, in order to make that just a little bit more friendly in the mouth, let's say, just a bit in more enjoyable, um, because the taste is there, the taste is really yummy. I um, I take out the obviously the main stalk, but as I'm breaking the leaves up, I also kind of have a feel for any other big stalks that might be going on because you don't want that. So, for example, this is a nice leaf here. There's no stalk you can see. There's a little bit of a stalk going on in this one, so I'll take it out. Equally this one, you see here, that stalk, that's what people complain about. So as you're breaking it up, just have a good feel and take out any of those stalks that people, you know, may say is not very pleasant. So I'm just gonna quickly get some water on these guys. Then I'm gonna add a little bit of lemon juice. And as I'm getting the water on, I'm giving them a little bit of a massage. Kale love massage. <laughs> as do we. <laughs> as does anyone, right? Who doesn't like massage? So when I say massage, again, kind of just rub them together. Not only are you washing them, but you're getting, um, yeah, you're getting that kind of really strong uh, leafy taste away. Take one of my favorites, take a lemon, and just squeeze some lemon in there as well. I find that lemon actually, with the acidity, it helps to improve a lot of dishes in so many ways. But I think with kale, more than anything, it just takes away some of that harsh, harshness okay so I'm just going to leave that sitting there a minute and we're going to check on the chicken again make sure that's not burning that's cooking down really nicely actually yeah lovely okay I'm happy with that that can just stay for another few minutes let's taste this pasta again get that tasting like the kids are going to enjoy that now mm -hmm. okay we're good to go so me personally whenever I drain any pasta I like to get some water on it immediately and wash that through because that's going to stop it from sticking. Remember you're going to get a, a nice Alfredo sauce on this one so you just want it to see how the quinoa pasta kind of breaks down, kind of breaks down here when it's been cooked for a bit too long so just watch out for that and that can now just be left. check on this cauliflower so I'm just going to use this knife to check how far we are with the cauliflower so usually you wouldn't be able to put your knife in cauliflower that easily so it's semi cooked I can still feel it's a little bit hard in there so I'm just going to give it another five minutes and then we're good to go okay so back to my salad so that's now been sitting there for say five minutes see all that murkiness no, nah, let's get rid of that before we add the spinach to wash as well. It doesn't actually 
literally have too much dirt and like grainy type dirt, like ground dirt, let's say that like spinach does. Um, some nice Italian baby spinach in there too. So I'm just gonna add a quarter of the packet there. Also, my tomatoes. These beautiful vine sweet tomatoes. They just smell amazing. So I'm going to add those. And these are actually local, locally grown here in the UAE. Um, so I'm just going to give that a quick wash. I'm going to make a lovely green salad here just to go alongside mine and hubby's dinner. Um, that is something I learned from mum. Mum, even now, she's 74, my mummy, and she has a salad with every single meal that she has. It's like a must. It's almost like a knife and fork for her. Like a meal is not a, a meal without her salad. <laughs> okay. So we just drain that, wash that a couple of times. Just got my kale and spinach mix here and my tomatoes. And I'm just gonna make a very, very simple salad for hubby and I. And you can cut Cut your veg any way you want it. I always like little bite sizes of everything, but again, it's aesthetically however you find it pleasing and also in the mouth, however you want to taste it. So there's about four tomatoes here in one salad. It's a nice amount. And of course, you can add anything to this side salad um, but because we've got a little bit of flavor with the garlic and the cauliflower alfredo and the chicken I think that is yummy as it is I think I'm just going to add a little bit of avocado as well um, let's see how this avocado is today some days it's good yep some days it's not so good but we've got a good one so I'm just going to add about a quarter quarter of an avocado in there as well and just pop that over nicely there like that I'm just going to make a very quick and easy dressing for that so that's one tablespoon of balsamic that's white balsamic oh <laughs> one tablespoon of olive oil and of course my lovely lemon I'm just going to squeeze a little bit of that in some pepper and salt a little drizzle there we go Okay, so that's now been cooking that chicken for around, I want to say around eight minutes each side. It's got a lovely sear on it. It's definitely cooked through. It's still moist. Okay, so we're going to just leave that now. We're going to concentrate on this sauce. So that's now been going for around 20 minutes. So as you can see, there's still quite a lot of water in there, but I don't know how much I'm gonna need in the food processor. So I'm gonna add my cauliflower first because we're gonna add some nutritional yeast in here. That's what's gonna give it that yummy cheesy flavor without the cheese. Add my garlics in there cauliflower in there so let's get all the cauliflower in here first before we add the liquid I'm 
And let's go with this bad boy. I just want to see the consistency before I start adding in the water. Mm, it smells great. So I've added half of that now. And for the yeast, I'm going to start with a, a quarter cup. And then I'm going to add in my salt and pepper. And then I'm going to taste. And then I'm going to see how I go. It's a quarter cup. And that's my nutritional yeast. Let's add that in there. I'm sure I'm getting a lot more in here. <laughs> but I, I want around a, a teaspoon. Maybe half. That was half, I think. That was half a teaspoon. I'm going to go half a teaspoon of pepper as well because of the kids. I don't want to over season. So get that going with the yeast. Smells good. delicious that has um, a little bit of a cauliflower flavor I'm gonna add a tiny bit more yeast so that the kids get more of that cheesy kind of feel so I'm gonna add a teaspoon more actually a teaspoon and a half and let's give it that one more go so it's really smooth and creamy. Now, okay, take that over to our pasta. So what I want to do is toss the pasta with the sauce to make sure I cover all that pasta. Okay, so I've used I want to say around three cups of pasta there. So I'm going to take three generous spoonfuls of the sauce and get that covered. You can see it's cauliflower, but it doesn't taste like cauliflower. It tastes phenomenal actually. It's cheesy, it's garlicky you know you've got the um, you've got the flavor of the stock coming through you know it's just really delicious chicken breasts I think we'll use this plate and I am sure that my babies are going to love this today. So this portion is around a cup, a cup and a half. You're going to have it with a beautiful side salad. Just slice. And I'm just going to pop that over there just like that okay just open that up a bit okay so there we have it so we have a beautiful green salad here alongside our dairy-free nut-free cauliflower shh, don't tell the kids <laughs> alfredo sauce so for those on a budget budget friendly and for those with allergies, it's 
perfect. Okay, guys, I hope you enjoy and I hope to see you again with me next week. Bye, take care. Let's give it a taste. See what we got here. Mm. You know what, my, my hubby's gonna love this. It's got the Alfredo um, feel to it, but it's just, it's not, it's not cheese. <laughs> I guess you know, but it's still so good that, mm, I've got the saltiness, and the yeast does give it that cheesy sensation, you know? But anyway, guys, mm. Mm-hmm. try it please let me know what you think tag me at wellness with Kerry and also at loving life with lemons and let us know what you think hope you enjoy it take care bye hey Ali do you like it yeah is it is it yummy yeah Oops. It's yummy and scrummy yummy and scrummy what about you Emily is it yummy yeah. yeah.